Hey folks, just want to take a few moments and talk to you guys about Star Wars X-Wing and my version of a modified swarm. Swarm usually consists of eight or so TIE Fighters and one of those TIE Fighters being Howl Runner and anyone within range one of her gets uh, re-rolls to hit if they miss. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, with mine, I will have two Avengers and those guys are in the interceptors up front. I'll have two Academy Pilots. I'll have Mauler, and I'll have good old Howl Runner backing everybody up. I'll usually put Stealth Device and Swarm Tactics on um, Howl Runner, and, uh, or, or I'll put the Swarm Tactics on uh, Mauler, depending on what I want to do to try and you know make one look like uh, more of a target than the other. Uh, as I'm flying, what I don't do is put them in a rectangular block because that's not quite as forgiving as kind of making them a little bit offset. So um, making sure there's a, a reasonable amount of distance between the uh, your tiles, your, your bases, and then making sure that they're actually offset a little bit. And uh, when you are flying and doing those various different banks, you can do them a lot easier without worrying about bumping into each other. And you can still stay within range one of Howlrunner for the most part. Now, when you are forming up, I always want to make sure that if you're going to be doing a specific corner, uh, you make sure, like if it's a left corner, you make sure how runners in the back row, in the back left. Because <laughs> she's going to be moving last, so you don't want her in the way or bumping into things or messing up your entire swarm. So, the main reason why I've been doing this is because as I've been going up against units uh, with just the TIE Fighters getting two shots, uh, a lot of people have been able to roll out of... Uh, that damage and getting the interceptors and Mauler in there with his additional damage when up close um, usually guarantees at least one or two damage sometimes uh, it makes it makes a huge difference when you're going up against larger ships or um, even uh, small groups of ships when it comes to uh, the rebels or even going up against the Imperials. And what's really cool is you're going up against another swarm. Sometimes you can get uh, chew down that swarm pretty quick before you start getting hit back by too much. So um, sometimes when it comes to forming up, I'll often uh, split them up and reform them as I'm maneuvering through. And nothing gets respect from your opponent than sitting uh, a group of ties on one side, group of ties on the other, maneuvering around and forming up together in this beautiful block again, and then going for the kill. It's it's fantastic. Sometimes it'll bite you in the butt because you might misjudge a turn or two and uh, <laughs> be too close or too far away, and you get hit with some uh, uh, fire and you start to lose your ships really quick, but. Other than that, uh, it, it's a great list. I love playing this game. It's more of my competitive game, so I don't talk about it too much, but uh, you might see some more videos in the future. So uh, with the next few days, you'll be seeing back to uh, 40K. Anyways, with that said, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.